Hallo ihr Lieben und herzlich willkommen zum dritten Tag des Popsalons. Ich sitze jetzt hier mit zwei Herren, die die Band Friska Villier gegründet haben und möchte von den beiden mal wissen, wie sich das alles so entwickelt hat und wie es heute Abend jetzt hier laufen soll. So, hello guys. Hello. Uh, as I looked you up on the internet, I found a soccer club that's called Friska Villier. Has that to do anything with your name? No, they no. stole the name from us. Oh. They did? Yeah. <coughs> oh, okay. <laughs> My next question, do you like soccer, is now... I don't have to ask for that. I love soccer, but, but I can't play it. I, I'm a soccer trainer. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can't play, <laughs> yeah. but you train. So, yeah. is your team good? Yeah, they are uh, 25 year olds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> and so uh, they only train together once, and uh, this upcoming Monday is the second training. Mm -hmm. They haven't really... Um, understood the concept of uh, team play and passing the ball to each other <laughs> and stuff so when we have like games three on each side and three on the other one all six are running with the ball <laughs> it looks really funny <laughs> and the rest of the field is totally empty <laughs> that's no problem i think you're doing a pretty good job yeah. <laughs> so um now we're going to talk about your career i think you were founded our in other career, uh, career your other career yeah, yeah, yes yeah. so we read uh, about you as a football trainer and on yeah. the other hand you're a musician <laughs> and uh, i think you were founded in 2005 if i'm right yeah yeah I think so. and now we've got 2014 there's been nine years so could you explain three milestones that happened in that time difficult question i think the first milestone would be when we actually realized what we had done in the studio i yeah. mean the first time we started doing this f like as a some sort of musical therapy yeah okay and we didn't really know what we were doing so the first milestone for me would be like when we just listen to it after a couple of months and oh this sounds pretty good maybe we should do something about it yeah that would be the first one for me i guess when i realized we actually could do something half decent yeah Maybe second one, hearing our first single on s s national radio in Sweden for the first time was quite nice, mm -hmm. yeah. I think. Yeah. And the uh, third one would be Immigut. Immigut Festival, think. yeah, for sure. Okay. There's only three and we're but only like in the first uh, yeah. year. Mm -hmm. so That's uh, nothing has happened. <laughs> 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 it's been so same old, same old. <laughs> yeah. So maybe another milestone tonight in the House of Youth <laughs> yeah. here. And um, yeah, when you sa said uh, you started your music project, I uh, found I read a comment on YouTube about your song Shotgun Sister, and it was like two friends with broken hearts go after a drunken night in a studio and make funny music. That's the beginning of the Friska Villier story from Sweden. Does that It's describe? Kind of correct. Yeah? I wouldn't say funny music, but uh, <laughs> 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 nothing to laugh at. And we actually uh, used to go to the studio first, mm -hmm. and then, then to the bar. And um, you say you make chi making children music with lyrics for adults. Yeah. So how do you mean that? Well, it's kind of also uh, direct and uh, simple yeah. uh, melodies, mm -hmm. and quite um, easy to get into, I guess. And Musically, is, it's easy. It's energetic kind of and happy, and, and uh, yeah. yeah. But kind of, I, I, and but maybe the emotions that are that are expressed in the lyrics which are pretty much straightforward as well, but the emotions maybe don't apply to a child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what can people expect if they don't know you, <coughs> when they listen to you for the first time? A live show, our goal always has been to, um, if people are sad when they come, they should leave happy. Mm -hmm. And if they are already happy when they come, hi. And if they're happy coming, they should be happier <laughs> leaving. Okay. So that's the main goal, like like just spreading uh, good vibes. And where do you want to get your audience? At their head, their feet or hearts, I think. So do you want just to make them happy or to dance no, or is there... We want to make them everything. You want to make yeah. them everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, why, why be happy with one when we yeah. can have three? <laughs> <laughs>
So let's talk about your songs that fit perfectly. It's uh, We Are Happy Now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's yeah. starting with the line. See, I've been trying to live this life with no success, so I will die. So what do you think? When has your life been successful? When you reached which aim? I think both of us are kind of... Yeah. We're starting, kind of fortune, fortune yeah. uh, people, both of us, because we made it semi much in the music uh, thing that we do, and we both have. I mean, Daniel has four people around him that he loves more than life itself, and I have three people, two people around me that <laughs> <laughs> that I love more than life itself. So, I mean, I guess we're both pretty happy, and we yeah. have met our goals as much as possible. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, when I ask you a question like that, do you think you're, the people that listen to your music often sit with uh, headphones on their head and think about the lyrics? I, I, think, I think some people do and I th think some people don't at all. But mm -hmm. the people that do kind of, we, we can get some mails or letters at yeah. points when yeah. people have been listening and get support from, from our lyrics and uh, or maybe Yeah, the, yeah. I think uh, a lot of people listens to the lyrics as well, and and kind of gets in emotionally involved in the songs. Yeah, yeah. It's which is a really beautiful thing because that was never the intention. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was never intended to be like that. <laughs> This is just like a big bonus. <laughs> Everyone's welcome to <laughs> listen to the lyrics and be involved. Yeah. I don't know. yeah. So, um, who have you write the songs, or do you both? To, to Been quite different. Uh, <coughs> like in the beginning, we were both single, alone, a little bit younger, a little bit less old, <laughs> and uh, with a with a no limitation time wise. In, in we had way. no families, no, no girlfriends, no. So we could spend long nights and stuff in the studio, and then it was super easy, and that was really good as well because being together, starting on blank pages, doing music is is um, something is happening then that we are kind of miss out on right now because we never can, we we don't have the time to meet up almost ever in the studio nowadays. Mm -hmm. So nowadays we're writing sketches at home and uh, email each other and uh, very unsexy way of yeah. writing songs but yeah. it, it's the way that works for yeah. us right now <laughs> when the kids are old enough to move out and you're to college, a little bit you know, older yeah in three or four years or so yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly it's time to okay so um Where do you get the inspirations from? So you said you've been single, maybe it was a hard time, perhaps it was sad, I don't know. So um, were there any things that um, you always remained of while you were writing songs in your first time when you're sitting together in the studio? At, I mean, at the first, at first it was the, the broken hearts uh, thing, mm -hmm. the, that thing that everyone has <laughs> endured. <Hi>. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Alles gut? <laughs> ja, es ist falsch. <lacht> ist der hinter, <lacht> hinter, <lacht> genau, das hier ist der Hinterausgang. <lacht> Hinterausgang. Okay. That's working pretty good. Yeah. <lacht> so, maybe back to the broken heart thing. <lacht> yeah, well, it started like that, of okay. course, because that's when, when we kind of came together. But I mean, uh, after that, I mean, inspiration has been everything. From like, the 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 fragileness of life and uh, <laughs> relations and uh, hatred towards women not women as uh, but i mean not trust hello <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 no problem <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's been everything it's just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can also follow our, our uh, uh, be, get, going from um, quite old teenagers to a little bit more mature now, maybe, if you read the lyrics, because going from um, a bit semi-bitter singles to where we are right now, you could see life is always good and bad, but the bad stuff are, you, you change focus, because mm -hmm. like the broken heart thing is quite um, small and um, easy to 
Mo- mostly it's overcome. A, yeah. I, I mean, uh, if you when you start to see the big picture about like life, death, eternity, and those kind of stuff, and that you, then you get scared, and then you get kids, and then you you, you have total other some other things to be afraid of, which <laughs> <laughs> you change focus yeah. going through life, and that that's quite easy to to follow. And and songwriting is always the most <laughs> easy when uh, when it's uh, <laughs> when it's not. <laughs> when it's not about a happy theme, it, yeah. I mean, it's easier to write songs when yeah. when you kind of set yourself in a in a blue mode. <laughs> De- definitely, it is. Yeah. So okay, um, but I think you're two pretty happy people, and uh, I noticed that you like the German people and the way <laughs> yeah. they walk around in here. <laughs> this is so, very um, cute. There's yeah, more people coming. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't know. I don't know what they're looking for. No, I don't they're know. They're looking for you. <laughs> oh yes, they are. Of course. Be on TV. I'm so famous, and they recognize me. Yeah. No, they didn't. <laughs> so, where 2013, you've played on Hurricane Festival in Germany. Um, so, what do you like about Germany, and maybe about the German fans? Is there anything typical for us? Yeah, you're extremely open-minded when it comes to new music. I mean, not 2013, but 2006, when we had our first shows down here, we were going down as a totally unknown opening act. And people were actually <coughs> listening and they were staying for the whole show and then after we ended they went to the bar and had a beer and then they went to see the main act mm-hmm. in sweden the main act should be happy if they have if the people are listening for more than three songs before going to the bar yeah. so it's a, i mean it's a appreciation <coughs> towards the music and the live scene that that are extreme both down here and austria and switzerland has something really special going on yeah. And also you have a, a lot of people living in a smaller area compared to Sweden, so you could tour here, mm. like doing seven shows a week for a couple of weeks. So that gets, you could pretend being on a wo- world tour, just staying in Germany, <laughs> which is great. Yeah. <laughs> and people, I think it's really nice to see that people actually give in to yeah, the music. Yeah. I mean, uh, as, as no Swedes, we're kind of, uh, we're reserved people. Yeah standing like this on concerts. In Germany it's the opposite, which is wonderful and yeah. really beautiful. I envy the people who dares to do that on a concert, because I don't. So um, is that the reason why you're here today? Because you like Germany? No, we're getting paid. paid I, I <laughs> want to ask for that. Are you, are you here for the money? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Money is part of it, of course. <laughs> it's our job. We couldn't. Uh, we can't be able to go down, pay for flight tickets, and go down here playing for free. Because then we would have been three times paying like two thousand five hundred euros to come. Yeah. And that's stupid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, that would be super stupid. So I think because you're very nice and gentle, everyone wants to pay for you oh, to play nice. a show here. <laughs> yes, I'm always pretty nice. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> one of my last questions is, uh, what can people expect from you maybe in the next year or the next three years? Are there any aims you want to reach? We used to uh, say that world domination is the <laughs> short goal. Yeah, the, lo- yeah. the, the, the long-term term. goal is a little bit more blurry. Okay. But we are also quite lazy. <laughs> <laughs> is yeah. That the main problem. <laughs> yeah. It actually, is. right now it is. We so. we pretty much decided not to to have any like specific goals on what to what to achieve mm-hmm. in the short term right now. Yeah. I mean. We could say we're gonna release an album, but we in a while. won't say that because <laughs> we don't know if we're gonna. Maybe <laughs> we might release an album <laughs> sometime within three years. Okay, and that's pretty much all we know because yeah. it's it's a lot of uh, spontaneous activity that, that has to be done. Yeah, and uh, and that won't get done um, unless we're we lazy. <laughs> unless we get <laughs> our thumbs out of our behind a holes 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 to okay. put it mildly. <laughs> yeah. So everyone who saw this interview will actually know where there's maybe no album, but if there is one, then uh, I think everyone's going to listen to it. So the le last question is, uh, you're playing in the House of, House of Youth tonight, yeah. as you may know. So what do you think about the location? We have only been in the cellar <coughs> so far, right? <laughs> Sounds pretty awful. <awesome. laughs> <laughs> and that was nice. <laughs> it, was, it was a toilet and a mirror. <laughs> it was a big mirror, so we did like a choreography dance, a oh, flower. <laughs> pretty yeah. cool. Flower dance, ending with a, like a ski uh, or a, I had the swim, swim, uh -huh. swim jump. No, it's a swim jump. The, yeah, the like kind of a swim jump. The artistic swim yeah, exactly. swimmers, yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. But yeah, that was yeah. great. Okay. That part we of have, uh, we have uh, two the demands. So it's toilets and mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do everything okay. we want. And you haven't seen a lot of Osnabrück now. Of no, but world. we've been here so many times before. It's a, it's ah, a really okay. beautiful town. Yeah, that's yeah. what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I wish you just the best for tonight. Yeah. And I hope it's going to be awesome, but I think so. And yeah, we hope thank so you well. for your time, for your interview. Thank you. Thank you. Von euch verabschiede ich mich jetzt auch. Das war das Interview. Wir sehen später noch mal. Tschüss. Tschüss.